Hey guys, video two here um, in the, the continuing series of how to tune your AMV2 uh, front to back, start to finish. Um, in my last video, we covered, um, we went through the wizards, uh, the, the setup wizards, um, manifold pressure sensor, air temp, um, you know, uh, 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 well, we didn't even actually do O2 feedback control or boost control. They'll be in their own videos. But we went through um, injectors, um, basic sensors, um, and I tried to stress how important it was to get uh, just the basic setup right because everything that we're going to do from here on out is totally negated. It, it, it doesn't mean anything if um, those sensors are not reading accurately, correctly. Um, you know, coolant temp, map sensor, um, air temp. TPS, uh, those are the pretty much the basic sensors, and your cam and your crank should be correct, um, depending on which um, you know base map that that you loaded. Um, but anyway, here we go. Um, this is where we're going to start on video two, and we're going to continue setting things up before we even start the car. We're going to do more preparation to all of the maps and going through an understanding of what they do. Um, first one here is RPM breakpoints. So let's say you're in a rotary, all right. Um, you've got the 13B and you're taking it to to, to 10 grand, 11 grand. Okay. Um, this is showing you that the all of your maps um, are not going any further than 9,000 RPM. That's your maximum breakpoint. Okay. So what you can do. And I'm going to give you guys the the, the, the short, uh, the quick keys here as I'm doing all this. Hit S. If you've got this value, you can select whatever value you want, or you can use your right and left arrows. Um, hit S. It brings up the set value box. Okay, that's what S does. Um, so let's say we're never going to go past 10,000 RPMs. That's going to be our max. We'll set this to 11,000, and it moves this up to 11,000. Okay. Um, me personally, I like to see um, a minimum of 250. That's just personal preference. You can leave it at 500. You can leave it at 700 if you want to, but um, y you run into crazy problems when your motor actually sees values um, that uh, passed like the maximum break points. So I like to set this to, again, I hit S, to 250. Okay, and then what you can do, I like to have a nice linear scale, personally. If you need more resolution, you can keep, see how this kind of slopes, see how this kind of is flat right here. So you have more resolution from, what is this, uh, well I set this to 250. Um, you have more resolution from 250 to 2000 than you do um, from 2000 to whatever that equivalent would be, like 4000. Okay, um, but if, if if you need it, it's there. But personally, I just I've never ran into an issue where I needed it, um, except on a couple Subarus, um, where just the the the, the incoming um, air it, there was just too much turbulence and it was just a little too crazy. So I had to really get a lot of resolution in one certain area. But anyway, hit Control A very Windows base friendly keys okay and H what this is gonna do is it's going to interpolate the whole map it just makes uh, every single breakpoint in between A and Z is now evenly distributed okay so that's the first one now over here to load breakpoints um, this is assuming that you're never going to see anything less than negative 11 okay Personally, this is personal preference, just for a global constant from car to car to car to car to car. I like to set this one, again, I hit S for set value, to uh, negative 13.5. Okay. And then the uh, what, what you'll want to do up here at the top is, let's say I'm using a 3.5 uh, bar map sensor. So max is going to be about, you know, 35 pounds of boost or so. And that's what this is set at, 35.2, right here. And again, I like to have a nice linear um, 
set of, of breakpoints from A to Z. So I'm going to hit Control A, which is select all. Same thing in Microsoft Word, Excel, anything. Um, anything Microsoft. I'm going to hit H. Boom, there it goes. Nice, even breakpoints. Again, if you need more resolution, you can drag these up. You can click on one and hit down. You know, and you can drag it down, or you can hit S and you know do what, whatever you want. Set it to four, and you know you can gain or lose resolution accordingly. Um, Control Z is the undo button. I'm gonna get it back to about normal. Okay. Um, uh, well, I went too far. Uh, let's see. Control H. Boom. Okay. Now look at what that's done to our fuel map. This is using. Um, again, the base fuel map, uh, just the, the 3100, um, the three and a half bar, uh, the, the same map that we used, the same cow that we used in the previous video. Notice how much has changed. I haven't changed a single value in this entire map. I haven't changed a single one of these values. But what I've done is I've changed the breakpoints here and the corresponding engine load breakpoints. Okay, so let's 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 try and keep this the, the same here. Let's say we're on a Supra, okay, and let's say we're not going to be too brave. We're not going to take it past nine thousand. So we'll go select this one, S nine thousand. So let's you know, um, Control A, select the whole thing, H, interpolate, and interpolate. I keep saying that wrong. Um, and then we'll go back here to fuel and look at how much that changes changes it it makes everything even all we did was change that breakpoint totally changed our fuel map okay um, so now this is what we're dealing with now um, something uh, but before before we move forward uh, let's see we're on breakpoints we're on limiters go ahead and set your fuel cut load to well, let's just set that at, at 15 okay and it'll just keep you from doing too much at one time. You'll you'll remind yourself later. Um, you know, you do a pull and you hit 15, but it keeps something crazy from happening. Okay, it's it's kind of like a you know kiss. Keep it simple, stupid for for right now. Just set it at 15, so you can't really hurt yourself. Um, and and go from there. I'm not worried about fuel cut. You can set these rev limits to whatever you want. Um, start. Not worried about that idle for the first time. Startup. Let's select this whole idle target base. Just select the whole thing. S, 1200. Okay. The reason we're choosing 1200 is it, it. Later we can set it to whatever we want. We'll go into tuning idle later. That's a whole video on its own. But for now, just set it to 1200. Okay. And uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to select this whole map and move it up just a little bit. You know what? If your idle's high, who cares? We can go back and do it later. What we're concerned about is getting breakpoints right and the main fuel map pretty close. Okay. Um, trims. This is the last, uh, the, the the last big one here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this down. This furthest left value S negative 100. Okay. What this map does is this map plays on top of this fuel map okay it's almost something that goes think of it going this way so as vacuum everything let's see right about from there close down everything in there oh I'm sorry that's that's ignition let me get over here um, everything from here down okay is not only is it this particular uh, raw fuel value but also at whatever vacuum you're at here it's pulling X amount of fuel out these are in percentages 20 percent 40 percent 60 percent so it's pulling additional fuel out of this map of this map okay and then in boost everything up here it's adding fuel okay so everything up here that's why this is flat is because once you hit this certain value right here, basically this um, this pressure level up, this graph takes over. So everything positive pressure here, here's vacuum, here's positive. It's adding a fuel percentage based on boost. So what you want to do is you want to set this 
Um, let's say we're using a three and a half bar map sensor. So we'll set that to 350. Control A, H. Okay, that scales the whole thing. Okay, now you have a nice even fuel calculation where it pulls in vacuum. And if you want to, you can pull this down. We'll set this value right here to, ah, let's just do negative five or something like that. And then we'll set this value to, uh, we'll set this to five. Oh, and now let's set it to, let's see, set 20. Okay, and we'll select everything to the left of it. Hold shift in the left arrow and you'll select everything to the left. And then H. And it kind of lowers this point to where as soon as you start, um, um, like this is pulling fuel right here and adding fuel right here. So you're trying to bring this line down to this this uh, juncture right here, like this cross point. Okay, uh, we've got that done. That's pretty much it. Um, don't worry about anything else. In the next video, we'll start um, actually looking at getting into doing some... Uh, messing with our fuel map and, and our idle map. One more thing before I quit the video. Make sure your O2 feedback is off right now. This right here, just double click it. It'll give you a drop down tab. You can select on or off. Just click off and make sure you hit enter. We don't want that on right now. Okay, that's the end of video two. I'll see you guys in video three.